Hi friends, welcome to my another video. Today in this video, I will discuss about the difference between induction motor and synchronous motor. The confusion between two is very obvious as there are many similarities between induction motor and synchronous motor. One of them is that induction motor and synchronous motor both are AC motor, meaning both need AC power supply in order to operate or run. The second similarities between induction motor and synchronous motor is that if we will see the construction of a stator of induction motor and the construction of stator of synchronous motor then we will find that they are exactly same. Let us overview the working operation of induction motor and working operation of synchronous motor. When we will understand the working operation of induction and synchronous motor then it will be very easy to us to make difference between these two. As I told you, three-phase induction motor and three-phase synchronous motor both are required three-phase AC supply in order to run. This is the stator construction of induction motor as well as synchronous motor because there is no difference in the stator construction of both the motor. So when we will give this three-phase power supply to the three-phase winding of the synchronous motor or induction motor, then it will produce a rotating magnetic field. As I also explained in my previous videos that when we are giving three phase power supply to the motor stator winding then it is producing the rotating magnetic field that is RMF. This rotating magnetic field is cutting the rotor bar in case of the induction motor and due to change in the flux of the rotor bar, rotor bar get induced EMF and as the rotor bar is short circuited by the entering then it there will be the induced EMF in the rotor bar due to this induced current in the rotor bar it oppose the cause of it as per the Lange law and rotor experience force to rotate and the rotor of the induction motor start rotating this is the working operation of induction motor the RMF production in the synchronous motor also is exactly same as we discussed in the induction motor case Meaning in the synchronous motor also we are giving three phase power supply to the stator winding and it will produce the rotating magnetic field that is RMF. The difference between induction motor and synchronous motor lies in the fact that the rotor construction of these two motors are quite different. In case of induction motor, especially in case of a squirrel cage induction motor, there is a metal bar which is short circuited by the end ring. But in case of synchronous motor, the synchronous motor rotor have windings which is not short circuited but it is connected with the slip ring and bus carbon bus arrangement. In case of induction motor we are not giving any power supply to the rotor. The induced EMF and induced current in the rotor bar is responsible for the power in the rotor windings or rotor bars. But in case of synchronous motor we are giving DC power supply through the slippering and carbon bus arrangement to the rotor windings of the synchronous motor. Due to this DC excitation in the rotor winding of the synchronous motor, the rotor winding will create its own poles and there is one rotating magnetic field which will also have their own poles. So in the synchronous motor, due to the DC excitation, the rotor winding will also have its pole depending on how we wounded the rotor winding. Here in the animation you can see that the rotor will have its own pole, sort not, sort not and the rotating magnetic field also have its own pole. At the time of starting, these two poles try to attract each other, sort by north and north by south. Then what will happen, there will be a magnetic locking occur between the rotor poles and the rotating magnetic field. And due to this case, the rotor will start rotating with the speed of the rotating magnetic field RMF but the synchronous motor will face one problem at the time of starting as the rotating magnetic field is rotating with the synchronous speed but the rotor is at the stand still position at the starting stage so when the rotor try to attract the opposite pole of the rotating magnetic field due to inertia the rotor when try to attract the rotating magnetic pole by that time again the rotating magnetic field move forward and again there will be repulsion between the rotor poles and the rotating magnetic pole. Due to this phenomenon the rotor is get attracted and repelled 
every fraction of second and due to that the rotor is not experiencing any force at the time of starting and the rotor will not start. As we seen that at the time of starting the rotor poles are trying to attract the poles of the rotating magnetic field but due to the inertia in the rotor every fraction of taken a second the rotor poles is get attracted and repelled by the rotating magnetic field pole and it result that the synchronous motor rotor will not start rotating at the time of starting in order to overcome this problem what we will do we will wisely make the end rings and these end rings we will connect with the bar so that the synchronous motor will start as a induction motor and once the synchronous motor will reach its rated speed as by starting in the method of induction motor then we will energize the power supply to the rotor rotor winding so it will create poles and after getting the poles the pole locking will happen and the rotor will keep on rotating with the synchronous speed so this winding this end rings and the bar which we connected in the synchronous motor is called damper winding and due to this damper winding in the synchronous motor the synchronous motor become a self starting machine but inherently by nature the synchronous motor is not a self starting machine with the help of this damper winding we are making synchronous motor act like a induction motor at the time of starting and when we will give power supply to the rotor winding of the synchronous motor then this rotor will rotate with the synchronous speed due to magnetic locking and in that time the damper winding become inactive why because there is no relative motion between the synchronous speed rotating magnetic field and this end rings and bar which we connected so as there is no relative motion between the rotating magnetic field and the rotor so there will be no induced emf no induced current in the and after magnetic locking the damper winding become inactive so hope you understood the working operation of synchronous motor and the working operation of induction motor now it will be very easy to us to find the difference between induction motor and synchronous motor the first difference between the induction motor and the synchronous motor is the working principle induction motor is working on faraday's law of electromagnetic induction but the synchronous motor is working on magnetic locking principle the second difference between induction motor and synchronous motor is that induction motor is a singly excitation machine we are giving only power supply to the stator winding and the power induced in the rotor winding is due to the induction but in the synchronous motor we are giving two excitation one excitation to the stator winding and another excitation to the rotor winding the excitation given to the stator winding is a three phase ac supply and the excitation given to the rotor winding is a dc supply so synchronous motor is a doubly excitation machine and induction motor is a singly excitation machine the other difference between induction motor and synchronous motor is that induction motor is a self starting machine and the synchronous motor is inherently is not self starting machine meaning by nature the synchronous motor is not a self starting machine we are providing damper winding in order to make synchronous motor as a self starting machine but by nature synchronous motor is not a self starting machine like induction motor the other difference between induction motor and synchronous motor is that induction motor don't require any damper winding but the synchronous motor require damper winding as i discuss in the previous difference the other difference between the induction motor and synchronous motor is that in the induction motor there is a relative motion between the stator rmf rotating magnetic field and the rotor as i told you in the induction motor case that the rotor have the induced emf due to the relative motion between the rotor and the rmf so there is always a relative motion between the rmf and the rotor and once there is no relative motion between the rmf and rotor then the speed of the motor get decrease and again there will be the relative motion between the rmf and rotor so in induction motor there is always a relative motion between rmf and rotor but in the synchronous motor as i told you once the magnetic locking done between the stator uh, rmf and the rotor poles then there is no any relative motion between the rotor and the rmf as the pole of the rmf and the pole of the rotor get locked by each other 
and the rotor will follow the same speed of the synchronous speed of RMF. The other difference between the induction motor and synchronous motor is that in case of induction motor, no slip ring and carbon brush arrangement is required. But in case of synchronous motor, slip ring and carbon brush arrangement is required. The carbon brush and slip ring arrangement is required only when, when we are giving power supply to a rotatory part. As if we will give a power supply to a rotatory part then directly then due to rotation the cable will break. So we are giving slip ring and carbon brush arrangement in order to provide supply to a rotatory part. But as we see in the case of induction motor we don't give any power supply to a rotor of the induction motor. The power is getting in the rotor by induction. But in case of synchronous motor we are exciting the rotor by DC supply. So in the synchronous motor we need slip ring and carbon brush arrangement to give power supply to a rotatory part of the induction motor that is rotor. The other difference between the induction motor and synchronous motor is that induction motor required minimum maintenance but synchronous motor required maximum arrangement a uh, maximum maintenance. The reason is very simple as wherever slip ring and carbon brush arrangement involved it means there is a lots of maintenance as in case of induction motor there is no any requirement of slip ring and carbon brush that is why the induction motor especially the squirrel cage induction motor is called a maintenance free motor and the construction of the induction motor is very robust that is why the induction motor squirrel cage type is most popular motor throughout the world but in case of synchronous motor the slip ring and carbon brush arrangement required in order to excite the rotor winding that is why there is maintenance in the synchronous motor. The other difference between the synchronous motor and induction motor is that synchronous motor speed is independent from the load meaning the, if there is a mechanical connected load with the synchronous motor and if we will gradually increase the load on the synchronous motor then the motor speed will be same it will not change as per the load increase because synchronous motor is a constant speed motor with the increase of load the synchronous speed motor will not change until the torque required to rotate the load by the synchronous motor exceeded the torque provided the maximum torque provided by the motor that torque is called pull out torque meaning if we will increase the load more than the maximum torque provided by the motor capacity then the motor synchronous motor will come steadily into the steady state position means it will come into the rest and that load which we connected more than the capacity of the torque provided by the synchronous motor is called pull out torque. Below the pull out torque load the motor will run with the constant speed it will not change with the increase with the load. But in case of induction motor, when we are increasing the load on the uh, induction motor, then the induction motor speed will decrease with the increase of the load. The other difference between the induction motor and synchronous motor that the synchronous motor is most efficient motor compared to induction motor. The other difference between the induction motor and synchronous motor is that induction motor has simple construction, but the synchronous motor has complicated construction. As you see that in the induction motor there is a stator winding which is same in both the motor state uh, induction motor and synchronous motor but the rotor of the induction motor is most simple list compared to synchronous motor here not required any other power supply but in case of synchronous motor required power supply so required slip ring and carbon brush, brush arrangement required the windings but induction motor rotor just have a rotor bar and the end rings. So induction motor has simplest construction but the synchronous motor have complicated construction. The other difference between the induction motor and synchronous motor is that the induction motor is cheap compared to synchronous motor as we see that the induction motor construction is simple and the synchronous motor is expensive as the construction is complicated. The other difference between the induction motor and synchronous motor is that induction motor operates only at lagging power factor but the synchronous motor can operate 
at lagging and leading power factor this is a very wide topic which i if i will cover here itself then it will be a very big video so i will try to make the video on this topic that why the induction motor is only operating at lagging power factor but the synchronous motor can work at leading and lagging power factor just for an overview by adjusting by varying the excitation rotor excitation we can change the motor operation from lagging to leading but this is a very wide topic so here i if i if i will discuss the video length will be very big so this will be keep for next video the other difference between the induction motor and synchronous motor is that its application induction motor is widely used in the industry 70 to 80 percent of the motor throughout the world is a induction motor only and 0 to 20 percent motor is the other motors like dc motor synchronous motor servo motor universal motor stepper motor all are coming between the range of 0 to 20 percent due to its robust construction maintenance free nature the induction motor is covering 70 to 80 percent and the speed controlling of the induction motor is also very simple after getting invention of vfd so this is another topic so application wise the induction motor is most widely used throughout the industry throughout the world but synchronous motor is used for the power factor correction as i told you in the previous difference that the synchronous motor can work in both leading power factor and lagging power factor if the synchronous motor can work in leading power factor it means it can be used for improving the power factor that is why the synchronous motor is used to improve the power factor for the transmission line and it is also used where the precise speed is required as the synchronous motor speed is not changing with the increase of the load so synchronous motor is used where very precise speed is required i hope you enjoyed this video that is the difference between the induction motor and synchronous motor if you really like this video then please give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel please press the bell icon for the next video update we will meet in any other video till then take care keep learning and bye bye thank you so much